Hello, this is Pamela the Stampin' Pink Rose, where Stampin' Ideas are always in bloom. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I want to welcome you to our card, Full Friday. On um, Wednesday, I introduced you to this card with my um, blog hop that I was in. And I just love the birds and branches with the beautiful... Um, uh, bird nest and the birds. You could do a solid bird, you can do the colored bird, which is what I've done here. So, I think it is just a gorgeous Sam set, and I'm going between it and the sunflower one on loving it. It has a die, so let me show you this die. It has the branches, and it has the nest, the eggs, the bird. It's absolutely gorgeous, and I'm having a ball with it. Okay, so anyway, so I've done that, and I want to show you the beautiful nest that came out. And I want to talk about it briefly before we get into making this card, because there's a little trick to it, and I want to save you not hurting the um, the uh, the uh, piece that goes with it. And I've got it out here someplace on my table. So anyway, um, this here is the nest, and I want to show you what I did. I did it in the cinnamon cider and the cinnamon cider paper. I tried it several ways. I've tried it on white. I've tried using espresso. I've tried different ways. I just didn't like the look. So this is how I came up with that look on this one here. Now, um, so you can cut it there. Recommend. Mine's messy. But this is my piercing mat. Use your piercing mat. Otherwise, let me show you what happens if you don't use your piercing mat. You're going to end up with spots. Okay? So tip one, use the piercing mat. I need to change my back on that one, guys. All right. Then the other thing I want to tell you about is I brought out, I'm about ready to knock everything. I brought, uh, have three colors I brought out. Now, I didn't bring the bumblebee out, and there was a reason why. So, notice the bird is this color, which is the jade. Okay, and it goes nicely with the shaded spruce paper I'm using. All right, then there is misty moonlight and magenta madness. We have blends for all of these, including the cider, but no blend for the bumblebee one. Okay. And our requirement for the uh, blog hop was the new ink colors. So, obviously, unless I was using my blends, I could not use the bumblebee. So, I tried some different colors. And, obviously, the magenta just was not way... I didn't even think about it. It didn't even work. It's too bright. The moonlight was too dark. The jade was perfect on the blends for that one. So, I used the jade for that and it works nice with this green. Then the paper that's on the front here came out of the Forever Forever Greenery brand new paper designer series. So let's look at the top group and then I'll show you the back. So you've got beautiful papers here of all the different greeneries of the leaves. And you've got that there and those. And then let me flip it over. And I'll read you the colors it says on the back. Remember the back always, and I'll show you this. So then you've got the stripe. You've got these prints. This is the one I'm using. Okay. Then you have that. And those. Okay, let me read exactly the colors it tells you on this one here. A garden green, just jade, pear pizzazz, pretty peacock you can use on one of those, shaded spruce, soft sea foam, and whisper white, of course. And so I was thinking that you know, the pretty peacock will work on some of these too. Uh, particularly the last one. All right, so now I'm going to set that over there. So that is what I used. So let's get at how I cut this, and that's why I'm giving you a cautionary tale if I can find my parts to everything. There we go. 
this is the little frame that I'm talking about. And if you cut it wrong, you may bend it. So this is why I wanted to do the video for you. Okay, so I took shaded spruce and I did it like that. Okay, so it's a four and a fourth by 11 and then fold it five and a half. All right, then I'm going to set this off to the side. I took my um, paper from that uh, Forever Greenery pack and this is my paint strip. Now, don't press on it. Okay, real hard just lightly put it on but it will hold it in place where you want it and I want it right there and you're only going to cut this you're not going to cut anything else yet okay so now I'm going to put this on it and I've kind of centered and left some room at the bottom now this is going to jiggle the table guys and I apologize okay now here comes that okay all right. There we go. All right. So that took it off and doesn't leave you a mark. Okay. Just don't press real hard. I have to tell you that. All right. So now you have this. And I'm looking at my paper. And I'm feeling it's a tad long. Give me one, whoops, I'm climbing out of here and I'm not getting the camera. Apologize. For some reason, I got it just a tad long. Not much. And so, all right, now, so I just took it off the bottom. Now, I'm going to adhere this together. Maybe if I get it off of here, it will work better. Tape is not wanting to cooperate today. All right, I'm going to use a little glue down the side. I don't like to. I prefer my tape runner. But my tape runner does not want to work right now. Okay. So now I'm going to bring this over. Make sure I'm inside of you. Get the blade thing out of the way. And now I'm going to put this down. And it is still a tad longer than I like. Okay. Guys, I'm going to go cut. Just hang on. much better guys I apologize I don't know how that happened but it ended up being just a tad long it's still not perfect. My other one will be a better one. But we're going to go with this. Okay. So then what you're going to do is you're going to put this on where you want it. 
grab your painter's tape again. Don't put it on real hard. It will fit. And now I've got glue on my hand because I'm using that glue and I don't like using it on this. Okay, now I've got this. Now I'm going to bring this back in and I'm going to cut. Okay. I've already cut through one layer. So I'm only cutting through the one green layer. Okay, now I'm going to cut. Okay. There we go. Now I've got this cut out. And then all I need to do is finish, and you may need your piercing uh, tool or your pick tool to get the rest of the holes on it. Okay, it's going to come. You just got to work it. Don't force anything. Get it over here where I can see it better. I'm sorry if I'm not in your sight. There it comes. But sometimes if you don't have it right in front of you. Okay, so now I'm going to need to work with it with my pick tool and get it through. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. Because what we're going to do is do the other part of this. And I'm going to set this aside. So now I have another piece of shaded spruce. And you're going to put this here. It would help to get the rings the right direction. Okay. And when you have sticky fingers, it's not the best. Okay, now I put the two together. Do you see how I've sandwiched? And I'm strictly cutting again. And I'm going to bring this over. And what you're going to do is just like this now you're going to glue it down okay and then I will go back and use my pick tool to fix it don't you love when you got glue all over your fingers and you're trying to do okay but what it will do, it covers, provided you don't have glue on your fingers, it will cover the circle so this is not being seen. Okay, so I just need to scoot it. It doesn't want to scoot because my fingers are sticky. There we go. Sometimes, there's my block. Sometimes I'll take my block and I'll put it around like that. Okay, then what I need to do is get my pick tool and I need to fix it and then it'll come out like this with the bird and then you'll just have to mark where the nest goes. Let me get this is the nest frame. So then I would just simply go here, figure out where it goes so I can see it. And then I'll just cut it and put it right there. And what I do is before you glue the nest down, then right up across the top, 
if you have your bird ready then I just simply take my bird and glue the tip of the bird at the bottom right there and then that'll get it and that's it but I wanted to show you because I don't want you to bend that brand new piece if you try to cut through too many layers that's what you'll do if you try to cut too many layers you may bend it give it a little notch and you don't want to do that so I hope this gave you an idea how to create and use the birds and branches and watch uh, my blog stamp and pink rose for more ideas on using this stamp set coming up and if you need a catalog by all means you can go to my site and request one right on the right hand side is the spot where request the catalog and you can do that um, that will get you going on that I charge the five dollars for the catalog but you get a five dollar coupon back you just place an order directly with me and you'll get the catalog uh, that money back so that that works really well and a lot of people like it that way um, can't think of anything else got any questions email me at Pamela at stamp and pink rose don't forget to do the newsletter if you haven't subscribed to that the weekly one will go out Tuesday and happy stamping and I hope you enjoy uh, doing this because it's wonderful uh, stress reliever I think for stamping take care and have a great day and thanks for joining me